UFO above nuclear plant sets off radiation alarms. Security guard first-hand encounter. Interview with Paul Evans Pedersen Jr., former security guard for the Salem nuclear plant. The Salem nuclear plant in New Jersey has been centered around multiple UFO sightings. Before I get into Paul's interview, I want to talk about an official incident that happened at the Maelstrom Air Force Base in Montana where UFOs disabled nuclear warheads. Also, my very own UFO crash experience, the Lower Alloways Creek incident, happened nearby our nuclear plant. 1967 at the Maelstrom Air Force Base in Montana, an airman with the Oscar Flight Launch Control Center saw a star-like object zigzagging high above him. Soon a larger and closer light also appeared and acted in a similar way. The airman called his non-commissioned officer and the two men watched the light streak across the sky, maneuvering in impossible ways. The NCO phoned his commander, Lieutenant Robert Salas, who was not impressed. He ordered the NCO to keep watching the display and report if the objects got any closer. Minutes later, that is precisely what happened. Shouting into the phone, the NCO told Salas that a red glowing UFO was hovering outside of the gate. Salas woke his commander, Lieutenant Fred Mywald. As he briefed Mywald, an alarm went off in the small capsule, and both men saw a no-go light turn on for one of the missiles. Within seconds, about 10 of the missiles went down in succession. 20 miles away at the Echo Launch Control Center, the same scenario took place. Strike teams went to both launch facilities where maintenance crews were working and had been watching the UFOs over their sights. The missiles were down for about a day and neither the Air Force investigation nor Boeing's test found any cause for the shutdown. The Order of Light presents Paul Evans Pedersen Jr. Former security guard, Yo Security, at the Salem County Nuclear Plant shares his encounter. He's also a musician, author, and a Pine Barrens and Jersey Devil expert and has his own TV show, Down the Pines. Okay, in 1977, I was a security guard for a company that was subcontracted by PSE&G to provide security at the uh, Second Sun, the island we used to call it, the Salem Nuclear Plant. And I'm not sure of the exact date, but I was on duty at what was called Breakwater. It was a part of the, uh, the nuclear plant. And right on the Delaware River, Breakwater was. I guess that's why they called it Breakwater. And I guess it was around seven o'clock at night when all at once, all of the alarms went off simultaneously. And everybody was running around what was, you know, what was wondering what was going on worrying if something cracked or something leaked and there was radioactivity going through the plant. And this lasted for about 20 minutes or a half hour. And then as soon as it started, it stopped. All of them, just everything quieted down. And, you know, everybody was gathering, talking to each other when there was going on. And somebody uh, came up to the group and said it was a, uh, you know, something was hovering over top of the, facility and to go back to your station and that's what we did and I finished out my shift went home uh, came back the next day got our uh, guns and went to our assigned stations and in about 10 minutes we were told report back to the front of the building with your badge and with your weapons and we said well what's going on what's going on and uh, so we went and there was guys a couple guys standing there that were dressed like they were dressed different they were like in suits and they were basically watching what was going on we handed our guns in and they told us you're dismissed uh we said why what's going on and they just told us go back to cherry hill that's where yo was based out of my office was in cherry hill go back to cherry hill and they'll fill you in on the details and we asked them uh what was all the commotion yesterday and they told us that a cloud of radiation had escaped from uh, China and encircled the world, and that's it flew over Salem and caused the alarms to go off. And that's what we were told. And when we went back to Yo, I went back to Yo in Cherry Hill, and they said, We don't need you anymore. If we do, we'll call you. And that was it.
Thanks so much to Paul for sharing his story and thank you for watching. Make sure to go in the description and check out the other links we have. Please like, share, and subscribe.